Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome back to EU4 as Mongolia. When we last left off, we had just uh, done some cool stuff here. We were fighting for our lives, we were having a great time, we are going to raise a host there because we can. And it'll give us a new leader, which is cool. And we're sieging stuff, apparently. Oh, wait. You, cannon dudes, go over there. Uh, you guys who are not cannon dudes, you go over there. And basically at this point, we're going to sit here. There is an important thing we're going to do. I want to uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start building a spy network over the Inu here. Because we're going to probably try to conquer them so we have a foothold in, excuse me, in Japan. And, uh, let's see. We want to build a navy. That's also a key part of our plans here. And it is going to be a, a huge navy. I mean, not the hugest navy of all time, but it is going to be a relatively sizable navy that'll make the world tremble and people will wish they had never messed with us. Hmm... Hmm. You know what? We are going to refuse that tribute. Might not be the best play in the whole wide world. And, oh, look at that. We have not actually seen the rise of the Hoosamacallits. The Hoosamacallits, of course, being colonialism, who is called a Hoosamacallit for some reason. Ming has broken their tributary status, which means we are a great power. It also means we can upgrade. It also means, also, 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 that if... 15 years from now, the Ming has not done anything to force us to be a tributary. They're going to get a disaster. And that disaster is going to F them up several different ways at once. And it'll be good for us. Not so good for the Ming. Alright. What's this? Promising land. Sweet. We get some taxes and stuff. Alrighty then. So, uh, all right, we'll pay some money, why not? So it's pretty good to be independent. That's always good and fun and grand. Now, the problem, of course, with breaking our tributary status now is that it does leave us in that awkward situation where, oh, and Ming has declared a golden era. Good for them. They're clearly trying to show how big and hard and scary they are. But we're not buying it, are we? Shagate is being a dick. What else is new? And... Sure, I love a good story, why not? And there we go, we have 100%. We are going to take everything from them, including their lives. But we can never take their freedom, you know, except when we do. And we're going to take some money, we are going to make war reparations. It's not going to be worth much, but it's going to be something, and that's, uh, that's the greatest gift of all. We're going to burn a couple of provinces, just because I can. Uh, still way ahead of time there, so let's do some of this. We're gonna go to war with Shagate next, because, of course, they are our natural-born enemy. And, uh, we have, like, five, yeah, five units of cavalry that are just kind of sitting around here doing nothing. But we'll bring them over here, we'll kind of rearrange things. We are also losing a small amount of money, which is okay. Uh, we are saving up for another thing. I think it's going to be this war taxes thing, because that sounds pretty cool and useful if you ask me, so we'll go with that. Uh, what else are we going to do? Yes. This is all happening over here. Uh, Rebellion. Rebellion looks okay so far. And I could probably get rid of this Rebellion just by doing that and not that this. Alright, that'll do for now. And figure out what I'm doing over there. Alright, let's see, what is this? Recruit these men, lower tech cost, gain some free stability, or gain some taxes. And this tech cost for 10 years is pretty useful. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna go with that. Because that actually does sound rather, rather lovely. Uh, we're also going to make Outer Mongolia... Wait, Outer Mongolia. Who are you? Do you belong to someone? You don't belong to anyone. I'm going to give you a spot of development. Because you, you touch our capital, you see. That's that's the cool thing for me. 
is this touches our capital, so we're going to make this eventually our uh, super hub of, like, if we have to spawn colonialism. Because even though theoretically we could get colonialism ourselves, there is a reasonable chance that we will not, and thus we should be prepared. Alright, we've lost our trade protection CB over there. We have, like, super awesome all the power. Uh, right, let's uh, get this war on the road. I kind of forgot that was a thing. Uh, hmm. What is their highest developed province? And their provinces are really not, for the most part, that val- Ah. Uzkend. That is going to be the one we say is our objective. Why, you may ask? Because you get a discount on your war goal, if I recall correctly. So, let's do that. Uh, this, you guy are going to go over here. You will temporarily go here and then kind of like circle back over here. And you will go over here like this. And then we'll kind of figure out everything from there. Yeah, that is the good stuff. All right, where are you going? Cobdo. Where's Cobdo? Cobdo is over there. Uh, you can stop here. You can drop a guy here. Then you can kill them. And uh, you, yeah, you can go there. We'll figure out exactly what the ideal ratio of stack sizes is at some point in our lives. There we are. Yeah, that's good enough, apparently. We'll uh, drop a stack over here, and then we'll kind of just wander over to Uskend. Why not? If we can, we'll go ahead and kill someone. And by someone, I mean, you know, an, a bad guy. An enemy. A villain of some nature. And basically our plan, since I probably should have explained that, is we're going to cut our way over here so we can go to war with the, with the Timurids. Then from the Timurids, we're probably going to try to go to war with no guy. As uh, you are... Actually, you know what's something we should do? Use our great power. Can I break your... Damn, I can't break your alliance with... Persia, because if I could, then I'd do that, and that would give us all the power and money in the world that we could possibly need. At least that's the process that I'm going with here. And what should I do with our last guy? I guess suck up to the Ming, because I don't necessarily want to go to war with them. They're probably going to declare war on me sometime, but they might not. And if they don't, then bingo, bango, bongo. I don't want to leave the Congo. Not that we're in the Congo. That had nothing to do with anything. All right, there we go. Good enough. Also, for some reason, no one is trying to, you know, actually fight back, which I find rather curious and kind of alarming. Because they've got to be around here somewhere. But where is the question? Also, we're... All right, well, that siege is over, so... I guess we'll send you over to Kazgar. Uh, you can... Yeah, you're going to Uzken because that's our war goal. Where the heck is the enemy? This confuses and angers me. I can't even be bothered to fight me on the field of battle like actual warriors. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Almost as disgusting as the fact that it's 1501 and we still haven't spawned colonialism. Like, what's up with that? Alright, you guys have done your job, so you can keep going over here. Uh, important fact is we are making money. And another fun fact, money is what makes the world go round, according to popular knowledge. So, if you get rid of the money, the world stops spinning. And if the world stops spinning, we all die due to... Well, I forget the science, but there is some kind of scientific mumbo-jumbo involving if the world ever stops spinning, even for a second. Well, actually, if the world stops spinning, like, just, like, a, you know, you just snap your fingers and it magically, uh, stopped, uh, stopped spinning, then your real problem would mostly come from the fact that, uh, you know, if it stopped instantly, that sudden stop of motion would, I believe, instantly whip you around and cause all kinds of horrifical chaos. Also, why am I doing that? That is silly and stupid. Someday we're going to declare war and we're going to conquer Japan. Also, the cool thing about this war is uh, this is going to completely mess up Shagate and Yarkand. Though, the downside to that might be that Yarkand might get its freedom and then become a tributary, which is not exactly the master plan. But, you know, that's 
that's life. And sometimes life does not go the way you expect it to. And after this war, we're gonna have to do something to rearrange. All right, if you're gonna wander around like that anyway, might as well just go one after the other, like that. All right, so this is actually going quite swimmingly. Uh, I don't know where Shagate is. Are you doing anything? You don't seem to be. The Great Horde is in a war of its own, and they're actually beating Crimea, who is at war of Georgia. Wait. You're just at war of Georgia? Then... Oh, are you, like, proclaiming a guarantee on Georgia? That's gotta be what's happening, right? What's this? You wanna peace out? Nah. You know what? Because I've got nothing better to do. I'm gonna keep you... You guys sieging. You guys are doing your cool stuff over there. You guys are gonna go, go do cool stuff over here. You're going over there. Actually, you know what? I'll split you and send you over here. This is where Shagate's hiding, isn't it? They're gonna kill me as soon as I do that. And we have ungrateful people attacking my settlement. That's unfortunate. But then again, if life was fortunate, then something, something, again, just, just random mad ramblings. I have no idea where I'm going with any of this. Uh, something happened, something else happened, and I don't care what happened. That basically sums up the latest news and events in the world. Alright, so... Okay, you're done. Alright, where the hell did Shagate's army go? Like, they're not, like, secretly sieging me out over here, are they? Oh, our boats are done. That's comforting. There we are. We have our big ol' convoy of boats. That makes me happy, because I like seeing convoys and boats. Boats are fun. Uh, I'll lose the the uh, unity. I almost said humidity, which is also something I could afford to lose, because I don't like humidity. Uh, you seem to be doing okay. What's going on over here? There's wars going on over here. That's cool. I do enjoy a good war. I could make, now that we're free, I could make the Anu a tributary. I wonder, would that mean I could sit on them and then declare war and I wouldn't get black flagged? So I think we can all imagine that there's no way in hell I'd be able to successfully launch an amphibious assault against Japan without actually... Well, I suppose if I took over China, I'd have... What's this? The Mamluks have entered a golden era. China... Or the Ming were in a golden era, weren't they? I think they were. You know what? This actually might be a good uh, ratio right here. Though maybe I'll take a couple of guys off this stack and it'll be our siege stack. For sieging. And stacking. Alright, so you guys are probably going to get busy doing that, so I'll just kind of go over here. Where the heck is Shagate's army? That's... That is the question of the day, and it's going to bug me all night long, if I were to guess. Alright, we've got some of this. We'll kind of slide on back over there. We've got some of this going on as well. Let's go kill this army for the war score points. Even though we're fighting in the mountains, and that's probably a bad idea. Because YOLO and such. Alright, we'll, we'll send our stack in here, because why not? You can go here, and then over here, to save some manpower. Not that manpower is a thing we worry about that much. We do worry about it a little bit, but not, not too much. Because manpower, at the end of the day, is something that is expendable, probably. Oh, and the Great Horde actually wants out of this fight, so goodbye. I mean, they've got their own problems to deal with, so I, I understand. Alright, we could actually end the war right here and now. We're again ahead of time. It's 1503 and we still... Come on! Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Colonialism. One of the fall... Why is it not spawning? I have everything that is required to spawn it. Why won't you give this to me, game? It's because you're racist against the Mongols, isn't it? It's okay, you can admit it. We're, we're all big boys here. I think, probably. Well, and girls. Big boys and girls. We can like, handle the truth. We can handle little subtle video game related racism. Probably. Alright, let's uh, get our free war taxes. Now this is the beautiful part, because you see, now that I've got that going, all I need to do, holy crap, I'm lo actually losing a fair amount of money, probably because of that. Alright, so here's the plan. We, r we take land... We make sure we can touch the Oirat, because we're going to want to touch them later. 
And uh, in the meanwhile, though, we want to do something like this. We want to take a bunch of land. I take one more province if I don't. I can, which is good. So basically, we take this big chunk of land, but right here is Kokkind. And Kokkind is an independent nation that we can do stuff with. All right, let's see. One, two, three. I can take a bit of money off of you. And I always like taking a bit of money just to remind you of your place. Yes, all right. So we are gonna burn a couple of provinces. Just Hobuscar, I guess. And... Wait, are you guys all in the same province? Hobuscar is, all right. I'll take Chug Shack. Actually, one second. I'll burn it for mil- I don't need the military points, but I'm gonna burn it anyway because I can. Like, this is all crap tier development anyway, so I'm not that concerned. We've released Kawkind in a second, once everyone's in position. All right, we've lost our rival status over there. Uh, we've got stuff going on over there. Can I tech up yet? No, we're still a few years ahead of time. We need a new rival. Let's make that... Persia? Does that make sense? Persia? Persia as our rival? And they're allied with Delhi. That's our big problem. Let's see, is there anyone easier I could uh, pick on for a while? Ujrat? Who is Bengal an enemy with? So I have a feeling we're going to want to be friends with... You know what, let's make it Gujarat. Because that way Bengal will like us more. Because we're going to need allies when we fight the Ming. Well, mostly just to discourage people from attacking us while we're busy with the Ming. Look at this, the Ming love us despite the fact that we treat them like shit. Makes me a happy man. Alright. Oh, and then Persia rivaled me, so maybe I should have rivaled Persia. Oh well, there'll be time later. Alright. So now here is the grand master plan. You release Kokkind, as I just said. Kokkind. There's Sunni. I'm an absolute crazy person. I could have uh, done something really crazy and said, hey, let's play as them. Which, uh, you know, would be kind of, kind of batshit insane. We're not going to try converting them because, frankly, frankly, it's not worth it. And basically, we are going to give them all the land, all of it, and that land will make them semi-strong. Illy and Korra Yusu over here. Uh, Illy. And there we are. So this should hopefully make them semi-strong. And basically the idea is we're then going to take more land over here. And again, then fight either no guy or... Well, I guess we kind of want to open up land over here. Because we're going to want to try to cut off Ottoman expansion. Cut off Muscovite expansion. But it's going to get dangerous when we get over here. Because we're going to be fighting like big powers. And we also still have the Ming to worry about. So we'll, we'll see how this plays out. I am quite optimistic that this is going to be like the most kick-ass uh, war of all time, but it might not be. Let us make our war goal to take Samarkand, their capital, because again, you know, it's the most valuable stuff of all time. And the Great Horde will not join them. Good for me, good for me. And there we go, we do that. There was a fort here? Oh, it's their capital. Duh. All right, there we go. We go in here, we fight... We have some fun, we have some laughs, we smile, we cry, we live a little, we learn a little. You know, it's, uh, it's gonna be a good time. A real good time. I guarantee it. Anyway, again, let's suck up to Bengal, because they're our most likely candidate for an alliance. It's not the greatest, but it is a possibility. Nay, in fact, a probability. Plus, also, look at this. The, uh, the Timurids have seen better days. Like, let's be honest here. They have seen better days. I have seen better days. Uh, the whole system's out of order. What's this? No, I'm not gonna lose 50% of my colonial population due to some kind of governmental bureaucratic oversight. Uh, what do we do with it here? Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to reprimand the chiefs. I'm, I think they can take a good reprimanding, and then I'll just pay them off to be to uh, play ball. Beautiful. Talking about Korea. 
Uh, recall relations over there, and we'll suck up to the Ottomans, because the Ottomans hate Persia. The Ottomans have no idea who we are, but they're going to. Where do you think you're going? I don't know where he thinks he's going. And to be honest, I think it's kind of hilarious that he actually thinks he's got anything going for him. So I'm going to let him keep doing what he's doing. And as for the rest of us who are living in reality land, uh, we're just going to keep on siege and stuff. They're going to win their war over here, no problem. And uh, I am just going to go over here. I'll let my vassal do their thing down here. We'll do our thing over here. And we are... It's February of 04, and you guys still haven't gotten around to... Oh, right. I probably should have checked this out. Okay, so next year. Next year. This is actually really starting to anger me. Though it actually makes me wonder what the hell's going on in Europe. Like... I feel... Oh, that is just unacceptable. Oh, right. Probably want to core that. Uh, I feel, at this particular point in time, that uh, I really, really, what's this? No, I want more siege ability. If I ever get the chance, like, whenever that event comes up, it is always more holy crap. Always more siege ability. Never pick anything else. It's not worth it. All right, we're going to split in half. And you are going to split in half as well. I have I have nothing to fear from from these silly people. Like look at them. I mean they are kind of gathering into a bit of an army over there. But uh I have nothing to fear but fear itself, so where'd they go? Okay, they're running around over there somewhere and forgetting what they're doing with their life. So I will let them continue doing that. Oh, they're fighting the Uzbeks. Probably, maybe. That's probably what's happening. So uh, I'll let them do that. And we are going to well, actually, this is not bad, because if we can fight the Uzbeks... I wonder if it would let me take their land up here, even though we don't have a direct connection. The answer is maybe. Yes, okay, good. Life is... Life is actually going really well for us, and that makes me really, really happy. Oh, and... Okay, the Uzbeks took my land from me. But, uh, that is okay. I mean, that's just more land for me to take later, which is always cool. All right, we have taken Bukhara from them. Which means we shall now cycle down here to help siege out this. And, uh... I'll uh, send these guys over here. And you, yeah, you're gonna go over there. We're gonna go over here. Uh, sit... Actually, let's all sit in Samarkand. There we go, that's the good stuff. And this is ours. Yes, it is. Okay, goodly, goodly gosh. Don't know what that was all about. But, what I do- oh, right. Right, we're doing stuff with the ANU over here. And completely forgetting about it. Incidentally, how is life working out for the Ming? Look at that, they were at what, 0.28 or something? And without us, they're at 0.13. So we're not big enough to like seriously cripple them. Just by not being a tributary. But we are big enough that it does notably hurt their progress. A little bit. And at the end of the day, that is all I wanted out of life. And that makes me feel good about myself. Uh, less good is the fact that uh, you guys are sieging my land here. You're kind of muscling in on my territory. This is my game, not yours. And uh, you guys are doing stuff over there, so that's good for you. And, uh, oh, it's January. And colonization is still not spawned for some reason. I mean, all right. Oh, sweet. We're actually already almost ready to tech up again. Got raiders, there we go. Uh, Korea no longer considers us a rival, and apparently you got annexed anyway. Alright. I guess that makes it some amount of sense. Considering the fact that you did kind of, you know, suck at life and other things. Alright, there we go. That's some good stuff right there. Uh, you guys are just going to wander over to my capital, little do you know. That it makes no difference to me. That was actually probably not the greatest idea of all time, because I am thinking to myself that uh, 
I might not take all this land. I mostly want to bridge to Persia. And Persia is currently at war against Oman. Interesting. Another interesting thing I could do is make the Timurids my tributary. But I'd have to take enough land so I can go to war with... Uh... Oh, wait, 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 wait. If I take land to touch Persia but not Delhi, the Timurids may... I don't... Do they like Delhi? They don't like Delhi, so they might not be willing to give access. So that could create some kind of blockage, which may be just what we need. All right, let's uh, let's go to war. Because we do want to get into India. Oh, crap. We do want to get into India at some point in the not-too-distant future. You actually have a surprising amount of money f for someone who is terrible at life. So uh, I just want to let you know that I appreciate your success. All right, so we're going to do something like that. Shagate, Timurids, and Delhi. So yeah, this, this cuts them in half and gives us a chance to go to war with Persia and Tabaristan. And that's basically it. Actually, Tabaristan, you know what? Tabaristan, Korakoi, and Lushirvan, these are all like little guys who I can make into tributaries. The Ottomans will probably still attack them, but, you know, I could, I could work with this. Uh, and that is basically all I've got. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bam. Do I want to keep this fort? So I'm going to give this to uh, our vassal here. Uh, we are... How much is Samarkand worth again? Samarkand is 21. I'm going to burn this, actually. Because I'm a horrible, horrible human being who likes to burn Earth's history to the ground, apparently. And uh, let's see here. I should keep one province, to be honest. Like, just one province here so that I can continue to attack the Timurids in the future. That's a key... Well, then again, I can fight Shagate, get access to the Timurids, and the cycle repeats itself. Uh, you know what? I don't like... Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to do this yet. In fact, this episode's running a bit long, so I think what we'll do is we'll call it here... When we come back next time, we'll delegate all this land over to Kokand. We'll get the cool stuff going. We'll decide, hey, do we want to go kill fools in Delhi? Or do we want to kill fools in Persia? And the answer may be we want to kill fools everywhere. And uh, can we can we get Bengal as, a, as an alliance? We are so close, so close to being able to get an alliance. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. So until the next time. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below to let me know what you're thinking. I will see all you in the next video.